Previously on the autism videos, we addressed the COVID-19 pandemic along with social distancing in terms of what it is, how it is executed, and why it must be done. During which, I brought up that those with autism would find this current predicament to be challenging, just like neurotypicals would. It's a point that I did not have much time to fully delve into, until now. I'm Steven from Toastamac, and for today's autism video, I'll explain why this ongoing lockdown can be difficult for autistics, along with sharing some advice for both parents of autistic children and adults with autism. My intent for this video is to give aid to everybody out there in the form of information, and to help you get back that much needed sense of control in a rather chaotic environment. So if you can, please, Share this video with someone who may be in need. To start, allow me to reiterate what I mentioned in the last autism video. Autism is a lot more than just interacting with other people. It's also about the structure of the schedule, the routine. And with locations closing left and right, that routine is now disrupted. This in turn can lead to abnormal levels of stress, anxiety, and in many cases, depression. When you think about it, neurotypicals can struggle with this too. Since multiple facilities have been closed down for the time being, and they might not be able to interact with certain people from those facilities as a consequence. Where neurotypicals may have the advantage though, is that they might not be entirely dependent on that schedule. Some of them can adapt almost effortlessly, just changing a few things here and there to best fit the present time. Autistics, though, might not find this so easy, and many of them will struggle more so than neurotypicals just to get things back on track. Whether you're autistic or neurotypical, all of this revolves around one thing, control. In the uncertain world that we live in, it's reassuring to know that there are things that we can do to make things certain. The ability to determine what the days ahead hold gives us the strength and determination to keep moving forward, no matter what stands in our way. So, in order to make this lockdown situation more tolerable, we got to get that sense of control back. But how do we go about doing it? The advice I have varies between the parents of autistic children and adults with autism. Let's begin with the parents first. First, you will need to take some time to sit with your child and explain to them the whole situation to the level they can understand, all while trying to answer any questions that may come up. When talking to children, we adults tend to put the topic in question through some filters, deciding what to say to them and what to leave out, to make sure they understand and not freak out. Unfortunately, it might not work this time. With all of the news and paranoia going around, it's only a matter of time before the children find out. If that is going to be the case, then it is better that they hear it from you, the parents, a reliable source. Once they have the information, assist your children with practicing social distancing and keeping yourselves clean. Practice makes perfect after all, and home can be the perfect place to practice in case you and the family decide to get out of the house for a change. Next, be sure to make some extra time in your schedule to spend with your children. Perhaps you can read a book together, watch a movie, engage in an activity your child might be interested in, or even take a jog outside for a bit. Don't worry, the stay-at-home order doesn't keep you completely grounded. As long as you avoid formations of groups consisting of 10 or more people and maintain a six feet distance from others, a jog around the neighborhood should be fine. Believe me when I say your children are going to need the social interaction you or their friends can provide, more than even they might realize. Finally, take a good look at the routine your children have to figure out what you can do and what you can't do. A new structure will need to be put in for the time being, but if you can keep some elements of the old schedule to give you and the children a bit more comfort, then by all means, keep them. No need to fix what isn't broken. It is my hope that this list of steps will provide some guidance throughout these unknown times for the parents. Now for the autistic adults out there, the advice I have for you will 
mostly be similar to what I gave to the parents, with a couple of distinct differences. For you, there will probably not be as much hand-holding as there was with children, so it is up to you to get the right information about the coronavirus. And to that end, I will provide a link in the description down below to the CDC website. There you can find the most up-to-date information about the pandemic. I implore you to look at this site whenever you can. As for your routine, it's also up to you to determine what you can and can't do. If you can't go to your favorite food place, then see if they can do delivery. And just because an exercise place you may go to is shut down, that doesn't mean you can't find things around the house to get a good workout or take a jog throughout the neighborhood. The other thing to consider is finance. Some like me are lucky enough to be considered essential and can still work. However, the reality is a lot of people just got either furloughed or let go because of all the closings. If this happens to you, you will need to file for unemployment to see if you can get some money, even if it is a pittance of what you usually receive. Something is better than nothing. From there, look at your track of purchases and limit yourself to only what you absolutely need instead of whatever you want. This is going to suck. I should know, since I've been down this unemployment path myself. But this is what you need to do in order to ride out the storm and still have some money in your savings. The road ahead will not be easy for either autistic or neurotypicals. This information I've provided for you should make the path ahead more manageable to traverse, but I can't fit everything into this video. So, if you have any questions or concerns, please let me know in the comments section below. Me and my mom will do our best to answer your questions to the best of our ability. That's all there is for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. And if you can, again, please share this video to those in need. Let's help each other out and get the message out there. And remember, while this lockdown may be necessary, it is only temporary. Again, Thank you very much for watching and until the next video, see you later.